Hello, YouTube. <laughs> um, I got a mystery plant. Um, I don't know what this is, so I'm going to post it and see if maybe somebody might know. Um, it's going to be hard to see what's going on here because they're new, so they're a little bit, kind of look a little funny, but they looked kind of a pretty red color. So I thought I would check them out. Um, they are not like Ludwigias. They're like real soft leaf stems and uh, the bottom halves are green and the top halves were like this bright pink so but they grow I don't know they, they grow like this like just regular stems and uh, there are little flower buds between the stems but I picked those out each so each spot you can see kind of see them here a little bit each spot where there's two leaf nodes there's was kind of like a little one or two little flower buds off each one and uh, I just kind of pulled those off because you know this is underwater I think they were growing um, above water like that but um just like I said not sure if anyone could even tell by looking here but I'm trying to see if uh, maybe somebody might know what these are I'll grow them a little more and then I'll chop them down so that they can grow back short the uh, the unpronounceable persicaria something stems that I got over that were over here. Um, I, I chopped those down and they're growing back. So they're growing back a nice bright pink. And uh, hopefully I'll kind of get a little cover here. And this uh, that Rhinecke is temporary. I just kind of threw it over there because I took it out from over here. This Rhinecke bush was just, I took it from that kind of that hole right there so but uh I, I might pull some more right nickies i'm not sure maybe trim them down a little bit that bright well it's kind of a orangey pink albedo costata right there is doing really good it's kind of overshadowed by them but i think it'll outgrow them a little bit as i trim as i keep trimming the right nickies it'll outgrow them i know this is a lot of red and orange in one section here with the crypt and the new stems are kind of almost the same color as the Amania gracilis but the Amania gracilis tips are kind of more pink like those stems are it's just hard to tell on camera but we'll see how they color up as they grow and uh, hopefully they'll it won't be just too much chaos of the same color over there and those guys um, my my pygmy chain swords are they're doing great. They're um, they're growing their little green leaves, and they're uh, they're growing their kind of a reddish purple leaves too. Like I said on camera, they don't look red, but they're very red. You can see right here, and uh, that's about it. I mean, really, if I turn the brightness down a little bit, you can kind of see the colors better, but. And the brightness goes right back after a second. But there you can kind of see. I should have altered the brightness before before uh, recording this. But see if I can hold the brightness here. Let me back it back down again. You can kind of see. Now you can kind of see the stems better. This is kind of what color they really look like. And the Amanias. You see the Amanias. The tips that have more light. They're more pink, and uh, the bottom sides, you know, they're kind of a, more of a light orangey yellow. And um, I just kind of put this here, uh, the two little pieces of Ludwigia that I had, I just kind of threw them over there for now. I got some more Pygmy Chain Sword from Petco. So here they are. I still got some immersed growth on them. And uh, the giant tall hair grass plugs that you see everywhere, I collected those from. Uh, I collected those from behind my local gas station where I get my Ludwigias. So these Ludwigias come from the same place as the hair grass over there. So we'll see how that turns out too. But um, sorry for the shake. Um, that's it. Uh, everything's good. I just wanted to kind of see about those little stems and see if maybe uh, anybody knew what what they are but that's it